Which one? Is that the starchy one or the non-starchy one? Starch. Starch. Need energy. Need fuel. What's up guys? Coach Nate here with The Run Experience with very special guest, Olympian extraordinaire Alexi Pappas. She's also been known to bake some bread every once in a while. Throws it in there. Today we're going to talk about running nutrition made simple. You ready to walk us through some things? Super ready. Let's do this. All right. Hey guys, uh, we are talking with Alexi on running nutrition made simple. Uh, before we dive in, just a quick thank you and shout out to You Can for bringing Alexi on and sponsoring this video. Uh, stay tuned for a special offer from them where you can get some of her favorite stuff. I thought we would play this game where I would pull out a quote that I really liked that I thought would be apropos to day-to-day -day eating and I thought we could talk about it a little bit. So. This first one uh, starts here, and this is why I have my phone. Oh, guys, I'm not bored. I'm not you know, distracted. I'm, I'm here with you. So, quote, I've really tried to focus on having thick walls and eating a lot of different foods. If I see a scrap of seaweed, a piece of sea glass, or a cool stick, I'll add it to my sandcastle. Building with variety creates a strong, healthy foundation. Yes. So... This one, uh, I think the, the precursor to this quote is that our bodies are like a sandcastle. Mm. So the thick walls are, are the very important base that we have to build our foundation. And this is all, it's all like an image that uh, I think is really positive because uh, every sandcastle, like every, you know, runner, you know, at our, at our basic level, we're all these sandcastles, but the more fun and and the more unique or personal we can be with our nutrition i think the the, the more fun it is and the better off we are mm. so when i'm fueling you know i i know there's a path of there is one way where you eat the same thing every day and it's uh it's very rigid and it's very unexciting but there's mm. another way to eat which is Really listening to what you're craving and understanding that a cool are, stick or yes a, or, or a, a scrap a, of seaweed. A scrap which of seaweed. I eat seaweed, but if you don't like seaweed, then don't eat it. It's like um, I think the most simple way to think about nutrition is not what can't I eat, but what what do I need to make mm. this this structure strong? And for me, it's like it's stews and it's homemade bread, but for somebody else, for some of my teammates, they're very into decorative oatmeal. And I think for, for all of you athletes to one, be open to a diverse, like eating plan, yeah. <laughs> but also to, to have fun with it and to be open to the, the opportunities that come. Because this can be mentally refreshing and nourishing and really give your body that resilience to handle your training. And if we get too narrow in the foods, we wash away and we become that, that narrow sandcastle. Yeah. Narrow walls are no good. Yeah, you don't want to be that like frail sandcastle. You want to be like, I almost think about it like the Tin Man um, in The Wizard of Oz where he is like putting the oil in between his joints. And when I eat really hearty foods, uh, like, you know, like a fatty piece of fish or a mm. stew. I really feel like I'm filling those crevices. And I think the other element of, nu of nutrition is, is believing in it and knowing that when I'm eating this meal, like enjoy the food, but also feel like it's a part of your process. You're refueling right now. You're feeding just like running a fast mile is adding to your strength. Eating a really great meal is, is just as important. Oh, man. Well, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about pre and post uh, workout fueling. More, more specific. I'll get more specific. <laughs> so next thing we got up is pre and post fueling. And yes, dear viewers, I have another Alexi quote. You don't know what quote I'm about to read. I don't know. I don't know. But we have things on here, so there's a little hint. Uh, the quote is this. My heart loves chocolate and my brain loves olive oil and my legs love sweet potato and steak. Yes. And that's great. It is great. So 
why did you write or think that? Well, I get a lot of messages um, on Instagram from a lot of athletes who have trouble, I think, believing in their food as fuel and believing in food as a, an important step, just like sleep, just like training. And so I tried to write something that showed that food to me is something that is a part of my process and like as a part mm. of me. And um, it's funny because just, you know, we just pulled this out of our fridge and I made, you know, a beef and potatoes stew um, last night. And so something that is like hearty and it's satisfying. And it's thoughtful. Like mm. it's, it's quality food. So the, like I ate grass fed beef and I, uh, I feel that like potatoes sustain me for mm. long workouts and. And this is something that you eat the night before, yes. or, you know, big workouts. So I'll eat like a big, the night before workout, I often have red meat. Um, so this, like a stew, uh, is very classic for me. Some sort of vegetable, you know, there's vegetables in here. So the stews are really easy because everything can go into yeah. one pot. Um, and then pre in the morning, yes, we have some bread. And guys, this is very special bread. Very special. <laughs> because this isn't just any bread. Uh, Alexi and I both discovered we're both bread nerds, and we both like to cook and and bake things. We're not doing other things. So you started baking in January. Yes, it clearly I have not been baking long because this these these are sourdough breads that I'm mm. learning how to make. Yeah. So I will have bread in the morning. It's pa it's passable for now, but I'll get better. Mm. Um, and what I like about making bread and making the stew is there's that sense of anticipation for mm. your food and for your workout. And I'll have bread with peanut butter, banana, jam, and then I'll have some you can. Um, usually in the morning I'll have either the chocolate mixed mm. in with my coffee or I'll have a lemon powder mixed in with like a yogurt. Yeah. And that'll be before a workout. And so yeah. I think, sometimes you can't like fire up the kiln on the track yeah. or like the cauldron <laughs> exactly. out by your long run to like cook the stew. So yeah. you got to have the you can. Uh, what uh, what yeah. flavor you got in there? What's, what's, your, this what's is, your thing? Oh, this is lemon with uh, the watermelon like electrolytes in it. Mm. So I like that the uh, electrolytes for like an all day use and then the lemon powder for you know, workout specific use or right after the workout. I love it. Let's get into race day uh, fueling. Hey, super duper special thanks to you can for bringing Alexi on our channel, making this happy. She is busy training for the Olympics. She made some time for us and uh, she uses you can in some really interesting ways. Yes. So living in the mountains, sometimes you get stir crazy just want to like make something crazy so i will use the chocolate you can in mm. like a recovery brownie setting and it's very fun because you could use cocoa powder or you could use mm. cocoa delight make those brownies a little bit healthier recovery brownies i love it so if you want to try those brownies yourself we got a special deal for you you can sign up with a, a little link below to get a tre starter pack uh, sign up below and uh, let's get back into uh, this nutrition stuff. Let's do it. So, race day fueling. Uh, you have another quote pulling it out where you say, tomorrow starts tonight. How does that play into how you prepare for race day? Yes, tomorrow does start tonight every day. Um, and whereas during regular training, I try to eat diverse foods, I try mm. to be adventurous. The day before a race, I'm very specific. Mm. And I think that is... Only certain types of seaweed and sticks. <laughs> Never seaweed. I've done that. Um, the day before a race, I try to eat basically the same foods every time. And it's a combination of sweet potatoes, bread, peanut butter, chicken, avocado, bananas. That's basically it in different ratios but I try to stick with that because I have adventured um, the night before races and it just isn't, it isn't worth it. Like it's worth it to have something you count on 
Um, and I think everybody has that meal that they can rely on. And then you don't have to think about it. And no, I think that's, that's the, the biggest thing is mm. to save your willpower. Save your willpower. It's the routine. It's comforting. You know it works. And then you can focus on the important things like the race itself. Yeah. So tell me about race day. And I think people would love to know about um, the fueling and nutrition, say, in Chicago Marathon last fall, uh, where as an elite, you get access to you know, your own special stuff. What's, what's yeah. that like? So as elites, you provide these water bottles for every 5K of the race. And so you can choose your fluid. I'm going with you can for myself, but for any athlete, you can prepare similarly by just knowing what fluid is the race going to provide. Mm. So for me, I have these water bottles where I know it's going to be this water bottle that I actually prepared. But for anyone who's running a marathon, I think you can research like, okay, they're serving this fluid mm. or, it's, or it's water. And then you can practice just like I do with fueling every 5K because that's, I think, how often they mm. are offering fluids during your long runs. That way, just like your dinner the night before, you are used to that yeah so you'll get a bottle every 5k in the marathon uh, mm -hmm. will you try to drink the whole thing will you take a few mm -hmm. swigs and then toss it how does that come to play i you're supposed to try to drink the whole thing i think i'm still working on mm. getting down i think it's three to four ounces of fluids every 5k uh, and then i always sign my water bottles and i always try to find someone on the sideline to toss the water bottle to because it feels like a little boost where their energy for getting that water bottle gives me energy. So I think there's energy in the form of fluids and there's energy in the form of everything else in the world. So you're out there, give that little kid a high five maybe and you yeah. know, boost you for that marathon. I have one water bottle that has my you can um, super starch in it and that also already has electrolytes and one bottle is just the electrolytes that's this one mm. and i'll leave it at um this end and we're just going to go back and forth and for me i sometimes i'm craving like a little more starchy stuff because mm -hmm. it's a long workout sometimes i just want that electrolyte push so Worth that's it. what i'll do today well good luck we'll see you out Thank there on you. the course all right so now we're going to talk about hydration uh i'm at a loss i have no hydration specific alexi quotes it you know, it, we're speechless. And <laughs> <laughs> I think with, like, with that, but with hydrating, really, it's, yeah. it's something that you, you don't feel you need until you probably really, really need it. Almost and, until it's too late. Yeah. yeah. And so for me, I actually, I have to, like a to-do list, give myself high, like tasks. So after a workout, I will sometimes like go to, I have to lift and I will fill up my water bottle again, and I'll be like, by the end of the lift, this is done. Like, so the lift isn't done until the water bottle's done. Mm. And I feel like that's practical hydration, um, giving yourself like the the periods of time where you have to get it get it in because you're not gonna hurt yourself by hydrating. You know, you don't want to drink too much, I guess, before, but you gotta get it. You gotta. Get the electrolytes. You, you know? gotta get you gotta get the the fluids in and everything else. So for you, you make it more like a habit where you'll try to get in at certain times. Is there uh, a something that you'll drink on you know just your day to day, even when you're not training? Do you like think about how much you drink or what you should be drinking? Yeah, I try to. So I try to have you know coffee in the morning, but like with enough water that I'm having more water than I am coffee. Mm. Um, I have a glass of water right when I wake up. So that's really a good thing to be in the habit of. Is mm. Wake up, drink a glass of water, then you can go have your coffee with some more water. Mm. And then I will have my UCAN uh, electrolytes, the UCAN hydrate pretty much all day, any day. This is like very easy to yeah. add to any cup of water. Yeah. Um, but you know, I think it's, it should be something that is first maybe doesn't feel super natural and then over time becomes like a thing that is always in your hand. Yeah, what I'm getting from you is it sounds like the biggest danger is that we forget, right? Yeah. And then we get behind. And so setting up those habits where it's like first thing 
and tying it with your workout where you're yeah. getting in there. It doesn't need to be crazy rocket science. You're just, yeah, are you getting not. it in? Yeah, yes, I definitely don't count, but I have little tick boxes, like the glass in the morning, the water bottle for X, Y task, you know, finish the water bottle well, and then the task is done too. And then a water bottle by your bed at night is like when you wake up to use the restroom in the middle of the night, get a sip or two because that's a long time to not be drinking. Love it. Yeah. I'm learning so much. There you go. Hello, hello. We are. Why hello, Alexi? When, you, when you're sitting next to the red table, your hat looks like it has red on it, but it's orange. Mm. That red orange contrast, I yeah. guess we'll never know what the true color is. Is it two packets? What is it? <laughs> two packets. <laughs> two packets. Two, of three, bar. five. I yeah. don't know. You get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. All okay. the stuff. And if you would like to try the fuel that I use, check out the Run Experience Starter Pack. Um, which is <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can use the Run Experience Starter Pack. Check it out for yourself on the link below. That's right, some of Alexi's favorite things. Of course, if you liked this video, guys, if you liked Alexi being on our channel, we're so excited to hit that thumbs up down below in the video. Do you have any comments or questions for us or Alexi herself? Please drop those in there as well. And uh, of course, subscribe to our channel. We've got more videos coming each and every week and we want you to see them. Speaking of, we're gonna keep filming. We got some more work to do, huh? Lots of work to do. Lots of work to do. We'll see you guys in the next video.